the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello my dears welcome back to another interesting session of 7th grade math every living moment do your best the rewards will be amazing it's just that simple children today we are going to learn a new chapter that is chapter number 12 squares and right triangles have you heard the word squares in the 6th chapter square and square root we have already learned this right and in the 5th chapter area of triangle this right triangle also we have learned right what is a square children how to make a square number or what does this mean to find a square number we should multiply it by itself that means suppose you want to make the square of 5 what we should do to make a square means 5 square what does this mean 5 square means 5 into 5 is equal to what 25 so 5 square is equal to 25 then what is the reverse reverse of this is square root of 25 is equal to what square root of 25 is equal to Split 25 into 5 into 5 is equal to 5. So children, 5 square is equal to 25. That is square of 5 is equal to 25. And then square root of 25. Square root of 25 is equal to 5. 5 square is equal to 25 and the square root of 25 is equal to 5 is this clear children in this chapter first we are going to learn a famous theorem that is pythagoras theorem what is this pythagoras theorem pythagoras is the name of a person that means pythagoras is a greek philosopher and mathematician okay he stated that in a right angle triangle suppose this is a b c we can give here a b and c he states that c square is equal to a square plus b square that means this is 90 degree opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse what is this children hypotenuse and this bc is equal to base b a c e this is base of this right angled triangle and what about ab this is the height or altitude right altitude altitude okay so c square is equal to a square plus b square means hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of other two sides pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of other two sides okay i'll explain this in detail 
children first draw a right triangle this is base this is altitude this is hypotenuse opposite to 90 degree is called hypotenuse here they are making a square we are have to make a square this is hypotenuse square this is base square and this is altitude square this Pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square look at this carefully now three squares are there here right see we are going to keep this here all the four corners we are keeping these four parts and this to here see these two squares fit exactly in this big square that is hypotenuse square so hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square look at the proof children triangle right triangle a b c here b is 90 degree this part a c is the hypotenuse that is opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse this is the largest side which is the largest side a c is the largest side hypotenuse the side opposite the right angle then lex these two are base and altitude are lex the sides that form the right angle this is perpendicular right and these are the squares base square plus altitude square is equal to hypotenuse square children hypotenuse is equal to 10 centimeter one leg that is altitude equal to 6 centimeter and base another leg is equal to 8 centimeter the question is is hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square let's see hypotenuse square means 10 square is equal to 100 then leg one square that is 6 square means 36 leg 2 square 8 square is equal to 64 so 36 plus 64 is equal to 100 hypotenuse square is equal to leg 1 square plus leg 2 square children I will explain once again this is hypotenuse that is opposite to the 90 degree that is hypotenuse this is the longest side of this right triangle and this is altitude and this is base leg 1 and leg 2 so hypotenuse AC is equal to 10 centimeter leg AB that is leg 1 is 6 centimeter leg BC is equal to 8 centimeter we have to prove hypotenuse square is equal to leg 1 square plus leg 2 square that is hypotenuse square is equal to 10 square is equal to 100 then add these two 6 square plus 8 square is equal to 36 plus 64 is equal to 100 therefore hypotenuse square is equal to base square this is base this is altitude base square plus altitude square is this clear children this is very very important this applications you will learn in higher grades okay children why we need to study this Pythagoras theorem what is the use of this in our daily life painters use ladders to paint on high building right to find the length of the ladder we use Pythagoras theorem then you can find the original height of a tree broken due to heavy rain and lying on itself children let us do one example here this is a right triangle triangle ABC is a right triangle 
this is 90 degrees so opposite to a is what hypotenuse so this is hypotenuse is equal to 5 centimeter and this is base base is equal to 4 centimeter and this is altitude altitude is equal to 3 centimeter so let's apply this theorem what is that theorem hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square base square plus altitude square is equal to what is hypotenuse square children it is phi square is equal to what is base 4 square plus a square means altitude square means 3 square what is phi square is equal to 25 is equal to 4 square is equal to 16 plus 3 square is equal to 9 so here left side is 25 this hypotenuse square is equal to 25 then 16 plus 9 is equal to 25 LHS is equal to RHS that is left hand side is equal to right hand side that is both sides you got equal number right so this satisfies the Pythagoras theorem right hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square both you got 25 now right so here look at this children 3 4 5 there is special name for these type of numbers these types of numbers are called Pythagorean Pythagorean triples or triplets Pythagorean triplets 3 4 5 this is one pair 3 square means 9 plus 4 square 16 so 9 plus 16 is equal to 5 square means 25 so 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 so this is one Pythagorean triplet then what about this one 6 8 and 10 6 square is equal to 36 8 square is equal to 64 so 36 plus 64 36 plus 64 is equal to what 100 that is 10 square so this also another triplet check whether 5 12 13 9 12 15 etc check whether these are triplets or not okay this is homework check whether these are triplet check whether these are triplets this is the homework okay 5 12 13 and 9 12 15 understood children now let us do the exercise take page number 188 the first question what is the length of the fourth side of the quadrilateral shown below which is the fourth side 1 2 3 and this is fourth side right so we have to find out this side how to find out this children can you apply Pythagoras theorem here let's see first draw a line parallel to this part that is suppose if this is a b c d mark a point d and uh, draw a d parallel to b c a b c d e now how to find out this part children here first what we have to do children draw a d parallel to b c you know that opposite sides are equal in a rectangle right so here 24 that means this side also 24 centimeter here a b is 8 centimeter so d c also 8 centimeter it is given that total c to e is 15 centimeter so this complete part is 15 
this part is 8 that is CD is equal to 8. So, how to find out DE? This total is 15 minus this 8, right? So, 15 minus 8 is equal to 7, 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. So, here 7 centimeter, right? Now, look at this, this is a right triangle, right? In this right triangle hypotenuse we have to find out the base we got that 24 centimeter and height also we got that is 7 centimeter. So, what is the formula children? Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square, right? So, what is base square? Base is equal to here you can write base is equal to 24 centimeter and uh, altitude is equal to altitude is equal to 7 centimeter ok. So, h square is equal to b square plus a square that is base square plus altitude square. So, what is base square 24 square plus altitude square is equal to 7 square is equal to what 24 square is equal to 576 plus 7 square is equal to 49 is equal to what 576 plus 49 is equal to 625 is equal to 625 that means hypotenuse square hypotenuse square is equal to 625 so we need only hypotenuse not square right so how to find out that that is square root of 625 you have already learned that right this in that sixth chapter squares and square root in the beginning also I explain. So, x square is equal to 625 h is equal to root of 625 is equal to 25 25 centimeter. So, hypotenuse is equal to 25 centimeter. Is this clear children? First to draw a d parallel to b c then find out this the total is 15 and then dc is 8 centimeter. So, how to find out this de 15 minus 8 equal to 7 centimeter then apply Pythagoras theorem. Ok children, is this clear? Children, second question take pay number 189. What is the area of the triangle shown below? Here we need to find out the area of a triangle. Do you remember the area of a triangle formula? What is that? Area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height that is half b h right. Here you can see two right triangles this is 90 degree right. So, you can see two right triangles we have to find out the area of the whole triangle. First what we need to do? We need to find out the height of this triangle, right. So, here consider this A, B, C, D. First find out the AC, length AC. Children, how to find out AC? You already learned Pythagoras formula, right? What is that? hypotenuse square hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square right altitude square children you know that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square right that is our Pythagoras theorem we have to find out here altitude square that is AC AC is the altitude here so this we have to find out so, how to find out this? Just take this part to left side and this part to right side. Base square plus altitude which is altitude AC. AC square is equal to hypotenuse square. Base square plus AC square is equal to hypotenuse square. We need only AC right. So, AC square is equal to hypotenuse square 
base square we are taking to right side so here this will become minus minus base square is equal to ac square is equal to what is hypotenuse square 25 square minus base square 7 square 25 square minus 7 square is equal to 625 minus 49 what is 625 minus 49 is equal to 576 so, AC square is equal to 576, AC is equal to square root of 576 is equal to 24. So, AC is equal to 24 centimeter. Is this clear children? So, this part AC we got now as 24 centimeter. The question is what is the area of the triangle? So, here we need to find out the area of this big triangle ABD. For that what is the formula? Half into base into height. Here the base is BD is the base right. But we got only this part BC only given. So, how to find out this children? Again we have to apply this Pythagoras theorem. This is hypotenuse, this is 90 degrees, so this is hypotenuse, hypotenuse minus this altitude square, then only you will get base square. Okay. So, here you have to do 26 square minus 24 square, you have to write down. Okay. So, CD square is equal to which is hypotenuse AD square minus a c square, a c square. Children, if you want to find out hypotenuse square, you have to add base square plus altitude square. If you want to find out base square, you have to subtract from hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse square minus altitude square, you will get base square. If you want to find out altitude, hypotenuse square minus base square equal to altitude square. Right? So, here we need the C D base we need. So, base square is equal to hypotenuse square minus altitude square. So, here AD is the hypotenuse. So, AD square minus altitude is AC. AC square is equal to what is AD? AD is equal to 26 square minus AC is equal to 24 square is equal to 26 square is equal to what? 26 square is equal to what? 676, 26 square equal to 676 minus 24 square is equal to 24 square is equal to 576. So, 676 minus 576 is equal to 100, CD square is equal to 100, CD is equal to square root of 100 is equal to 10 centimeter. So, CD is equal to 10 centimeter. Okay. Then find out area of this big triangle. So, children area of triangle ABD, area of triangle ABD is equal to half into base into height that is half into base into height is equal to half into which is the base here BD is the base. So, 7 plus 10 7 plus 10 is equal to 17 centimeter. So, this is 17 into then height what is the height 24 24 then cancel is equal to 17 into 10. What is 17 into 12 children it is 200 and 4. Then what is the unit of area? Centimeter square. So, the answer is 204 centimeter square. Is this clear children? Children in the same page third question is there. The picture shows a plot of land in the form of a right angle triangle joined to a square. That means one right angle triangle also there and one square also there. 
the total area of the plot is 2200 square meters what is its perimeter so children what is the perimeter this is a square these are sides of a square right so in this square what is the perimeter children perimeter means you have to add all the sides and that is s plus s plus s plus s is equal to 4 times s 4s that is the perimeter when what about the area perimeter means only the boundary line you have to add the boundary line area means the inside part okay area means inside part so area is equal to area of a square is equal to side into side is equal to s square side into side so here this is area and the border is perimeter perimeter how to find out you have to add all the sides so your figure looks like this so to find out the perimeter of this total figure means this part also this part also you have to add with these three parts this one two three and this four and this five you have to find out this here this is given 40 meter right here it is 40 meter and then total area is given total area total area is equal to 2200 square meters 2200 square meters what is its perimeter this is the question so what you have to do children in this first find out the area of this square what is the area of this square all the sides are 40 right so 40 into 40 is equal to 1600 you will get the area of the square then find out the area of this triangle alone this total area is 2200 total area minus area of the square you will get area of this triangle so total area is 2200 minus area of the square is equal to 1600 so 2200 minus 1600 is equal to 600 you will get ok so area of this triangle is equal to 600 you know that area of triangle formula is equal to half into base into height so half into base into height is equal to 600 from there you can find out this base ok so here base also height also you know now and then find out the hypotenuse how to find out hypotenuse base square plus altitude square is equal to hypotenuse square then square root of hypotenuse square is equal to you will get the length of this side after that you have to add all the sides that is the perimeter of the total figure is it clear children so do this as homework ok children take page number 185 one example is there using this we can draw a square of area 10 square centimeters we have 10 is equal to 3 square plus 1 square 10 is equal to 3 square plus 1 square is equal to what is 3 square 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 right so according to Pythagoras theorem we need only draw a right triangle of perpendicular sides 3 centimeters and 1 centimeter and then draw a square on the longest side look at that figure children one side 3 centimeter and other side 1 centimeter and then how about a square of area 7 square centimeters take page number 186 7 cannot be written as the sum of two perfect squares but we have 7 is equal to 4 square minus 3 square that is 16 minus 9 is equal to 7 so by Pythagoras theorem we need only draw a right triangle of longest side 4 centimeters and another side 3 centimeters ok children take page number 187 exercise is there can't you now draw squares of areas given below here four questions are there first question is 20 square centimeter 
is 20 uh, perfect square children or square number perfect square is another word of square number ok so 4 square is equal to what 16 and 5 square 25 this 20 is in between that right so this is not a perfect square but using Pythagoras theorem we can draw this square how 20 we can write 16 plus 4 we can split 20 is equal to 16 plus 4 right so 16 we can write 4 square plus 4 we can write 2 square so 4 square plus 2 square is equal to 20 16 plus 4 is equal to 20 now these are perfect squares right 16 and 4 are perfect squares children according to Pythagoras theorem how can we draw this according to Pythagoras theorem we need only to draw a right angle triangle with the perpendicular sides 4 and 2 let us do that first take your ruler and then draw 4 centimeter ok 4 centimeters 4 centimeter this is 4 centimeter right then another side 2 centimeter we have to draw another side 2 centimeter only 2 centimeter 2 centimeter only we need to draw only 2 centimeter 1 2 only 2 centimeter then we have to join this then only we have to join this so this is a right triangle right this is 4 centimeter this is 4 centimeter and uh, this is 2 centimeter we can give a b c here a b ok then children we are going to draw a square of this centimeter that is AC so we have to take compass and measure this length and then construct a square ok so first draw perpendicular from A and C how to draw perpendicular that is 90 degree first draw 90 degree So, this is the baseline ok. This AC is the baseline because we are constructing squares here right. So, here where is 90 degree? This is 90 degree. So, this is 90 degree and then here also we have to draw 90 degree. and then here also mark 90 degree ok then draw perpendiculars with the help of scale then children draw perpendiculars then from here also we need to draw then from A also we need to draw perpendicular. Then what we have to do children? We have to take compass and measure AC and with that measurement cut an arc here and here and then join. So take your compass take your compass and measure AC take your compass and measure AC take your compass and measure AC see 
A C. This is the measurement of A C. Then we have to cut an arc here. See we got one arc here, then we have to keep the center here and then draw one more arc. Draw one more arc. And then join these two arcs. Here we can give D and E. So, this is the required square of area 20 square centimeter. Children, in this exercise, three more questions are there. Second question 40 square centimeters. Then 39 and 65. These three you do it as homework. 40 square centimeters, how can you do this children? Is this a perfect square? No, 6, 6 are 36 and 7, 7 are 49. 40 lies between these two. Alright. So, we can write this either addition like this or subtraction. So, here in this 40 square we can write 7 square 49 minus 49. 9 right. So, 7 square minus 3 square we can write. 7 square minus 3 square is equal to 49 minus 9 is equal to 40. So, how can you draw this? If it is addition you have to draw from hypotenuse. Understand? If it is addition, this the longest side is hypotenuse, right? So, if it is addition, you can draw from hypotenuse. Otherwise, this is hypotenuse. The longest side is hypotenuse. So, this is 7 square minus 3 square. This is hypotenuse and this is one side. Okay. So, look at the textbook, this figure. You can draw like this. Okay. Then, Third question, 39 square centimeters. Here also 39 is not a perfect square. So, you can do 8 square minus 5 square. 8, 8 are 64 minus 25 is equal to 39. That also 8 is hypotenuse. Then the next question, 65 square centimeters. So, 65 you can add and you can do like this. Okay, the same figure you will get. So, you can add 8 square plus 1 square. 8 square is equal to 64 plus 1 square is equal to 1. So, 65 is equal to 8 square plus 1 square. So, with one side 8 centimeter and another side 1 centimeter. If it is addition, the longer side will be sum of these two squares, right? So, if it is addition, you have to draw from hypotenuse. Otherwise, you can do from one this side or this side. It is up to you. Understood children? So, children, this is the end of our today's session and this 12th chapter also. If you have any doubt, you can contact me. We will meet you in the next class. Until then, bye.